So this is the table that summarizes everything that we have studied about the electromagnetic spectrum right from the radio waves whose wavelength is greater than 0.1 meters so so frequency below below that and uh, and it is produced by rapid acceleration and deceleration of electrons in aerials aerials are antennas okay so what you do actually you apply a, a high frequency sinusoidal voltage to it so that it runs that current and 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 an oscillating charged particle is an accelerating charged particle it has to go it has to stop and then it has to reverse its movement and it is detected by receivers antenna there are various types and that you learn in communication systems one of the most famous is yagi uda another one is a is a is a straight aerial right that's an isotropic antenna that has that can receive equally from all directions normally for a transistor you need an isotropic antenna your uh, direct to home dish dish that you are using that is a directional antenna okay it, it is not capable of of receiving uh, signals from everywhere so you must have seen while adjusting it it has to be adjusted with a very 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 accurate precise measurements to point towards the satellite from where you are actually <coughs> receiving it so they are directional antennas hmm? they are no, directional antennas which this they are uh, they are the yes isotropic they they are they are this thing is also isotropic you're talking about the the mic that i'm using right the anti that that's an isotropic antenna the antenna on this the antenna this antenna is an isotropic antenna okay it will be normally uh, the straight antennas are normally the the, uh, the antenna over the receiver there that is also an isotropic one because you are never sure from which direction you will be you will be moving so i may move to the uh, to the uh, behind the camera or i can be here or there or left right so they, these are deliberately made isotropic so so that microwave is uh, the wavelength is 0.1 meter to 1 mm produced by clustron valves magnetron valves also gun diode no also gun diode gun diode okay and they are detected by point contact diodes that you'll study later infrared is from 1 mm to 700 nanometers vibration of uh, is produced by vibration of atoms or molecules and they are detected by thermopiles or bolometers and infrared photographic plates thermopiles are basically a number of thermocouples connected end to end now what is a thermocouple thermocouple is something so that so so something like this if there is a difference in the temperature between this and this end then it produces a corresponding voltage okay so so that is what a thermo thermo couple is if there are so many thermo couples connected together kind of like this okay then it becomes a thermo pile okay and and you may have this so so if you if you if you see focus an infrared light on this and this gets heated then that temperature difference will tell you how much it is getting heated or whether it is get, getting heated or not so 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 that is one bolometer is a device it, it is a it is a it is this kind of thing a metal that it is actually used for detection of electromagnetic waves so so if you if you make a wave incident on it it will produce a a current here and that current will produce heat right bolometer are normally used for for detection of very small signals okay and infrared photographic plates so they get darkened when you expose it to them visible light we know what we are seeing is 700 nanometer a very 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 small band amongst all this spectrum 700 nanometer to 400 nanometer and it's produced by electrons in atoms 
uh, emit light when they make transition from one energy level to the other. You must have seen the Balmer series in hydrogen atom, right? And that's why it was the first to be detected because it fell in the <coughs> visible region, right? The eye photocells. Our photocells are such that they respond to the, the, the light that we see and, and photographic films, obviously. Uh, earlier, the films that were used for, even today, the, the films that are used for, um, no, today, today more of it is printing, right? Earlier, there used to be a shutter, shutter was on and, and the whole light fell onto a film and that's how you focused things, right? That's how you, you got the, you got the photographs, okay? Then we come to ultraviolet, it is above that, 400 nanometer to 1 nanometer, inner shell electrons moving from one level to another. They are detected by photocells and photographic plates. Then comes the X-rays. Again, it is produced by inner shell electron transitions, okay? Electron transitions, right? This is that. Or X-ray tubes. Fine. They are detected by photographic films that we that we actually get as X-ray plates or Geiger tubes or ionization chambers. Fine. Gamma rays are less than 10 to the power minus 3 nanometers produced by radioactive decay of the nucleus and, and the detection is the same. Okay, so this table should be should be understood, remembered, because uh, they might be asking you questions how how do you, what is the, <coughs> what is the ray that we use in, for medical purposes? What is the wavelength range? How do you produce it? How do you detect it? Okay, this could be a question. Fine. Uh, this ray is used for tracking the fast moving balls. How do you produce it and how do you detect it? Okay, that is microwave. Okay, this is what you, this ray is used as your, uh, in your remote controls. How do you produce it? How do you detect it? Infrared. Mm. Okay. This is mostly used in communication. How do you produce it? How do you detect it? Radio waves, right? So, so, so it is pretty simple. Radio, as the name suggests, is radio. Microwave is above that. Then infrared. We, we had that table, no? You can refer to that. So, so infrared, then visible, then ultra, then X-ray and gamma. It's pretty simple. Microwaves are produced by clastrons yeah, or magnetrons or gun diodes. And since it's at your home, you should be... Kind of, hmm? Once you understand this, then infrared is absolutely simple. Visible, ultra, X-ray, gamma, right? The, the confusion actually comes here in, in these three. So I have... No, obviously not. Huh. Obviously, you have got infrared sensors. You have got cameras which are able to detect the heat waves, right? So it is used in machines. So you, so, so you scan the whole, maybe a, a big factory area, and just scan it, and you'll be able to see that the, that, that the points uh, which are getting overheated, they'll come, as, come up as reddish. Okay? So this we used to do in... Uh, in the electrical locomotives, it, it, it has got tens of thousands of connections and you never know which, which, one, which one of them is loose. So when the locomotive comes after, after um, a run, then just there a fellow goes and just scans the whole thing, right? So everything that is visible amongst those contacts, if there is an overheated contact, then you get to detect it and tighten it to avoid any further failures you understand so so oh yes they are detectable obviously this is also detection no you mean see you mean say you want to see it with your bare eyes Huh, yeah, obviously. They can bring the whole thing into your range, no? See, what you call goggles can be a, a, a receiver which takes in and uh, say lowers the frequency to your level. Huh? The commandos, the, the anti-insurgency people, they, they have those infrared 
goggles so as to strike uh, in the night. So infrared is yes visible. Hmm? No, depends on temperature actually. No, called night vision. Yeah, it is made greenish, you know, to stand out against the dark background. It's made greenish deliberately. So it's not natural vision. No, it's naturally what you don't know because when you say green, it is for a visible light. Just try to understand. Mm -hmm. If it was green, then it would have been visible to you. It's absolutely not. You don't know the color. Okay. Even even these, what you are calling as green, is because so many of us are uh, are kind of taught into seeing that it is green, right? Now just try to just try to think. Just try to think one thing. It's an interesting thing. You can kind of think on it. Suppose there is a child one who sees green not as green but purple. And a child 2, he sees green as green. And child 3, he sees green as, as indigo. Now from the childhood, they are being taught that this is green. Okay. Okay. So you don't even know what the other person is seeing. But we believe that we are kind of homogeneously and uh, similarly made. So they will also see the same kind of thing. But just try to think. So you won't even be able to distinguish what other people are seeing. Correct. Some other people are purple. Huh? Who knows? Colorblind people. Colorblind people have got uh, problem detecting, uh, differentiating between two colors. Say, say red green will be uh, having a trouble detecting, differentiating between red or green. So they are not used in, they are not taken in technical services. For example, they cannot be um, train drivers. They're not taken because you, you feel it is green and you move, okay, <laughs> while it is red. So there is a strict no-no there, um, even in normal, normal driving senses. But here you see that if everyone moves, then you also move, so fine. Mm -hmm. But in a train kind of scenario, that, is, that just cannot be tolerated, okay? So... So, or maybe green wires and red wires, they are used as uh, in, in three phases, red, green and blue is normally used and you are not able to distinguish between red and green, so, so that can also create chaos. Pilots. <coughs> Pilots also, yes. They are, wherever you have technical people, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are not accepted. Okay. So, some, some services which are branded non-technical, they are, they are taken. Hmm. So fine, that was that was only a, a point to ponder, but but this is what happens. Maybe the green that we are seeing is seen by everyone in the same this thing. So when you are seeing saying lush green field, so maybe some for someone it is lush pub. Okay, uh, so you never know wh what it is, but but it should be the same. We assume that fine, but otherwise and why that? Because what you are saying is green is the kind of sensation that it is creating in your in your photo cell, it, what it is you don't know, okay, the sensation that it creates is, is, is that of greenish, right, so, so it's only a sensation, it's nothing like absolute, what you see as green is, you don't know what, maybe, uh, maybe the cockroach or maybe the snakes, maybe someone, some, some other animals, they do not see it as green, okay.